Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, then my name is Aisha, welcome. So in today's video, as you can tell by the title down below, I will be playing with the Carnival 3 palette by Be Perfect Cosmetics. Just look at the packaging, I'm obsessed with this palette. Look at the back, amazing. And yeah, this has literally become my go-to favorite palette ever. Literally, I'm not even exaggerating. Ever since I got it, which was probably about two weeks ago, I've used it every day and the colors are just beautiful. The shades are so pigmented and they blend so nicely. So this is what it looks like. You get a really nice range of colors. You might think, oh, another rainbow palette, but no. There are some really unique shades in here, like this mint kind of green. The greens in general just blend so nicely. The kind of khaki shades, so, so cute. Reds, purples, like they are actually really, really unique when you like get a close up view of the palette. But in today's video, I was just feeling really, really creative. I just wanted to play with makeup. I didn't have a look in mind before I created this, so, uh, this is the finished look. <laughs> so if you wanna see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Shall we zoom in a little bit so you guys can see a bit better, nice, up close and personal. Okay, I'm gonna start by priming my eyes with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. If you've ever watched any of my previous makeup tutorials, you know that I love using this to prime my eyes. It has not failed me yet. I have actually put an order in for the P. Louise base and a few other like nice P. Louise products. And I'm super, super excited. So when my package arrives, I will be doing an unboxing first impression kind of thing. And another thing that is making me really happy today is my clean makeup brushes. I literally just cleaned every single one of my eyeshadow brushes and there is nothing better than the feeling of a clean eyeshadow brush. And I'm so satisfied. I hate cleaning my brushes. Do any of you guys hate cleaning your brushes? Please let me know so I know that I'm not the only one. That is the eyes prime. As I said today, I am just going to be playing with makeup. I don't actually know what I'm going to do. I don't really have a look in mind. So I'm gonna start with a dark shade. I think I'm gonna go for the shade Grape, which is this one up here. It's like a nice grape purple shade as the name would, su would suggest. And I'm gonna take that on a flat brush because when I'm using darker shades to start off with, I like to first pack the pigment on and then blend it out. So, wow, can you already see how pigmented that is? I'm gonna create something quite blown out, I think. So we're going up here, nice and close to the hairline. So I think I actually want to deepen that up a little bit more. So I'm going to take the shade Blackberry, which is this super, super dark, rich purple shade. And I'm actually going to take that on the same flat brush and just pack that on just slightly underneath where I put the grape shade. Again, look at that pigment. Now I'm gonna take a small little fluffy brush. It doesn't have any product on it. And I'm just going to start buffing out the edges a little bit, just so it looks a little bit softer. And then I'm gonna add another shade, which will hopefully make blending even easier. But to be honest, these eyeshadows blend so nicely. I haven't had any issues so far. Hmm, what shade should we choose next? I think I think I'm going to go with Pink Lily, which is this one here. And I'm going to take that on the little fluffy brush that I was using to blend out the shadow. And I'm just gonna put that above the two shades that I put on before. Just really lightly, windshield wiper motion, blending back and forth. As you can see, it's blending out. It's looking a little bit softer now. I'm hardly putting any pressure on the brush. I'm not even joking. I, kind of tickling my eyes because I'm just going so softly over the edges. But I think that looks pretty good. I want to use the oranges and yellows. I don't know if that's going to like work out okay, but I'm going to go for this shade here, which is yellow. Yellow. And on a MAC 217 OG blending brush, I'm going to put that above 
where I put that last shade. So it's all a process of like starting with the darkest color, lighter, lighter, and then finishing off with the lightest color up the top here. Oh, that looks quite nice, I think. Good choice there, Aisha. I'm never sure if, it, if these like color combos are gonna work out, but hopefully we're gonna make it work. I don't know if it's because I didn't clean this brush very well or because this yellow is mixing a bit with the pink, but it's also giving a kind of orange shift. Oh, I like it. Minimal effort has gone into this so far, I think. I'm just gonna go back in with the blackberry shade, which is the darkest purple that we used. And I'm just gonna kind of intensify that a little bit. It's always a process of layering because the more shades you go in with, the more you kind of lose the pigmentation of the others because you just sit there and like keep blending. Um, so that's like kind of normal. And then I'm also going in with grape. You guys know that I love a good clean cut crease. So I'm going in with my Garnier Micellar Water and a little cotton bud. And just putting a little bit on the cotton bud there. And I'm going to use my tiny little mirror to do this. We just want to start removing the excess eyeshadow on the lid. And start kind of creating the shape for the cut crease. And now that we've done that, they are pretty much even, more or less. I'm gonna go in with the same conceal I used to prime the eyes, which was the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. And I'm just putting this all over the lid. Then we need a nice little precise brush. This is the Louis Vuitton 238 Luxe Precise Shader. It's a super tiny little flat brush, and I'm gonna use this to just define the edges and make sure that they're super crisp. Well attempt to anyway. <laughs> one eye done. Now let me do the other one off camera because it's a struggle. Okay, so here is what the eyes are looking like so far. Now it's time to start working on the lid and I think I want to start by kind of connecting this outer corner down to the corner of the eye. So I'm gonna follow the kind of same color story. We're gonna start off with the darkest shade, which is Blackberry, this one down here. And I'm actually gonna take that on a flat brush and just connect that outer corner and the crease together like so. This little dip I have here is so annoying because it doesn't look like a straight line. Ugh but that will do for now. And then I'm going to go in with the next shade that we used before, which was the shade Grape, this one up here. I'm just on the same flat brush, just kind of gonna blend that dark purple into the grape. So I'm just like swiping my brush back and forth, like so. And now, <laughs> I feel like we need a little bit of pink in there as well. Taking Pink Lily, which is this shade up here. I'm literally just using the same brush, just cause I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm doing the same swiping motion. So swiping back and forth and matching it, like connecting it to the outer corner. This is actually turning into a kind of winged liner, which is not what I was going for, but I kind of like it. Not too mad about that. I guess we're gonna go for the yellow because I'm kind of just copying what I did on the crease. So the last shade that I'm gonna use on the outer corner is yellow. I'm actually gonna switch brushes because this is a light shade and I don't want it to mix too much. So that's going above the pink. Kind of self-explanatory to be honest back and forth swipe 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 the brush like literally not doing too much work at all okay this is where we're at i think i need to add a shimmer i need to show you guys these shimmers the question is which one should we use <laughs> i think i'm gonna go for rose pink and then i might top it off with this one up here which is pearl because pearl is more of like a glitter topper so Let's start with rose pink, which is beautiful. It's like a duochrome. Can't wait for you guys to do this. So I'm just putting that in the gap where I don't have any shadow down. And then I'm gonna fix that little 
blob in the crease there but i don't think you can even see on camera you can when i turn my head this way can you see that reflex it's got a kind of golden pink reflect to it i'm also going to try spritzing my brush a little bit this is the glam glow glow setter setting spray and i'm going to see if that makes a difference how this shadow applies hopefully you can see that i think the setting spray did help a little bit but it's also the lighting like in the mirror it looks so pretty and i can see the kind of shift but on camera you can't <laughs> then like i said i'm gonna go over it with the shade pearl oh that's so pretty it literally looks wet okay so i'm quite happy with how this is looking and i think that will do for the upper lid because if i keep playing around i'm just gonna make a huge mess so i'm gonna do my base makeup and my brows and everything and then i will be back to do the lower lash lines so see you in a bit two hours later Ta -da! <laughs> I think that's a lot lot better it's time to finish off these eyes and um, because we've already got that kind of line connected there i think i'm just gonna buff that out a little bit so that was the shade blackberry which is this one down here and on a flat brush i'm just gonna bring that in maybe like a third of the way into the lower lash line then i'm gonna take pink lily which is obviously the pink shade and I'm going to take that on a pencil brush, I think. No, actually, yes. Where are my pencil brushes? No. I'm going to take that on a kind of stubby flat brush. Just kind of buff that into the center. So the middle portion, actually, of the lower lash line, like so. So we're going for a gradient again from dark to light. So we want the dark colors on the outer corner and the light colors on the inner corner. And then we're going for, you guessed it, yellow. <laughs> We've got so many clean brushes, I just don't know which one to use. So I picked this one up, it's like an angled, fluffyish, flattish brush. And the yellow is going on the inner corner. Love it. <laughs> now we need to do, what do we need to do? Oh, inner corner highlight. We're gonna go for pearl and that's gonna go on the inner corner. So pretty. Camera, why are you not picking this up? It's got like, it's even got green and blue reflex in it. But the camera is just saying no today. No, no, no. Thanks so much. And then I'm also going to highlight the brow bone. Maybe you can see it a bit better there. So nice. This palette is so worth it just because there are so many shades that you won't be able to find in other palettes. Next time I might do a green look. Kind of scared of green, but we might do it. I am actually also going to line my upper lash line just so when I put lashes on, hopefully the lash band will be hidden. I've been loving this one lately. It's the Maybelline Lasting Drama Matte Liquid Liner. It's so good. So black. And yeah, it dries down matte and it's super affordable, super accessible. So we're going to attempt to do a super thin line, nothing special, no wing or anything, just like that. It's not the thinnest line in the world, but it will do. <laughs> Look, it's already dried down black. I mean matte, <laughs> not black, it was already black. Then we need something in the waterline. We're going for black just because I don't want to ruin this and like make it too much, you know? So this is the MAC Black Chap Gel Liner and I'm just gonna line the waterline. This is always really creepy to watch. And I also like to tight line because I hate it when I can see skin showing through. Mascara Lash Sensational by Maybelline, my holy grail. I love the wand on this because it's a plastic curved kind of thing and it just lets you get up right into those lashes and it just grabs at every single lash i'm going to put some glue 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 on my lashes i was gonna say i'm gonna put some glue on my lashes today i'm gonna use these from primark they are in the style topaz and just firstly the packaging is so cute and they are super wispy i have worn them a few times and while the lash glue is drying we're gonna move on to lips and i think i'm gonna go for something simple probably just a pinky nude actually yeah i mean i don't know why i'm saying probably i've already decided that i'm going for a pinky nude just because there is a lot going on on the eyes and we don't want to kind of take the focus away from that so firstly i'm going in with the mac lip pencil this one is in the shade subculture 
And for liquid lipstick, we're going for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Pure Hollywood. So simple, but such a pretty shade. Okay, nice and nude. I think these lashes are ready. I hate applying lashes. I think I put them on the wrong way round. It's hard to tell which one's left or right, but yeah, this one I think is on the wrong eye, but it's okay, we're gonna roll with it. And the last step is to just go over the lash band. And that is the finished look, guys. Oh, I finally woke up after that long process. But as you can probably tell, I'm obsessed with this palette. You saw for yourself, the eyeshadows all work so nicely. They're all super pigmented. They all blend so, so easily. And like, they literally do the work for you. Oh gosh, my eyelash is gonna fall off, isn't it? But let me know how you think the look turned out. I'm gonna zoom in on the eyes. Here is what they look like with the lashes on and everything. Let me know your thoughts. Would you go for this kind of color combo? I feel like I'm super glam up here and super casual with this jumper on, but I'm not going anywhere, so can't be bothered to even change. Um, but <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button down below. Also ring the notification bell so you are notified every single time I upload. And I think that's all. Thank you so much for watching guys. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye bye.